Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we're going to be putting the absolute black rainbow rings onto this Ultegra 8000 crank. Okay, first we're going to be looking at the absolute black road bolt covers for my Ultegra crank. These are in grey. And they're going to cost you $52.95 from the website. And we'll just have a look at those. Okay, we've got them in a par here on Zoom. Uh, they're machined out of 7075 T6 aluminium. They've been anodized in grey. As you can see, they've been nicely machined, and each one is a slightly different shape so that it fits onto the R8000 crank. There are specific uh, Dura Ace 9100 versions. Yeah. There's four bolts that come with them, and they are Torx 30 bits, and you should tighten them to between five and seven Newton meters. Okay, so everything we need is here. We've got the two rings, we've got my crank, we've got the bolt covers and the bolts. Loctite 248 is blue. I'm going to be using that. Usually I wouldn't use any, but um, today I'm going to do it properly. Usually I just use copper grease. Uh, we've got a torque wrench set to 6 Newton meters and a Torx 30 bit. So the first thing I want to do is just put thread locker on. My bolts. I'm just going to use the Torx 30 bit there just to um, do that. So I'm just going to dab some on and then rub it in. And I'm going to do that to all four. So the next step is we're going to find a suitable bolt cover. They're all different shapes as we found out before. Right. So we've got this one, that one's going to fit in there. Okay, because if it's a weird shape, that is probably the best one to start with. So we'll hold it, we'll just put it there so we know where it is. And we've got to thread the ring. So when we look at the ring, we can see it's got a pan and it's got an arrow here. And also if you turn it around, it's got a weird cutout here. So that is where the crank arm is going to go. So we'll just bring it through and we'll put it there. Okay, and that's how it's going to sit. So what we're going to do is get our weird bolt cover shape and put it through. That locks the front one on. So we'll just turn it around. There we go. Okay. Now we'll get our small ring. And you can see on the small ring it's got a smooth side. See where the circle is there, the hole? And it's got a notched side. Now we want the notch side facing up because that's where the bolt is going to go. We've got a little timing notch here, that little point. That points to the front. There we go. So that goes in like that. And then we can put in one of our bolts. Okay, so we've got one of our bolts there. There it is. So we'll just put in the that one, like that. And we're just going to do it up finger tight, so here. Now we can find the next one. That one has got a curve in it, so that one should be reasonably interesting to find. So that is how it's going to look when it is uh, together. Okay, what I'm going to do is put my finger on this one. I'll let the others fall out. And we'll just do this one up. So just notch it up. There we go. Find another one, a very small one. So that's going to go up there. Do it up. And then lastly, this one. So that goes in like that. Once you've got one of them in, it's easy. It's just getting that first one in, you know, like this. Okay. So. Covers are going to look like that. Okay. They're not tightened up yet, so yeah, that's that one. 
and then the other one is there but you can see that wonderful color on the rings it's superb it just looks great on the other side we've got um okay so let's just tighten up to six newton meters and then we'll be cool okay that's one we'll just do a diagonal that one's cool that one's cool that one's cool and just check them again so that is it finished so the road bolt covers there okay so let's uh, weigh it up the so right-handed crank with the two rings is 497 grams thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next car house take care bye